Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 167 of the Decades Challenge. Um, so Michelle, when she aged up, she developed the cat lover trait, and I have yet to get her a cat. So I thought we could do that today. It's also um, lottery day, so that is something else. We should definitely buy a lottery ticket. I would love to win. I never do, but <laughs> we could definitely try. Um, so we're going to adopt a cat. Um... I don't know if we want a kitten. I I mean, I don't really have a preference. Oh, I like this black one. Ratchet is a cute name. I like this one too. The, the Tonkinese. I don't know what that is. Um, Oriental long hair. Siamese would be interesting. American short hair. Japanese bobtail. This one's wearing a sweater. Oh, it's a bangle. Oh, she would like that, I think. A bangle would be nice. You know what? A, a cat lover would appreciate a bangle. Let's get ourselves a bangle. I'll probably rename it. Um, but yeah, I feel like Michelle would, would appreciate getting a cat. So the, oh, he's a trap. Oh, Winston Segura. I, <laughs> that's funny. I totally um, noticed how attractive he was last time he brought us an animal. Um, let's adopt JJ. Stop talking to Brian. He's got, he's, he's no help. We want this cat. Oh, look at how pretty he is. Once we get that hoodie off, because it's a little silly. Um, That's a really nice cat. Yes, I want this cat. I don't know what his name is. What should we name him? Mojo is kind of cute. Buddy. You know, I kind of want to name him... Um, oh, actually, no, that's not going to work. Geppetto. Uh, cat, Rye, Snugs, Richie, Pipo, Mr. Snuggle. These are terrible names. Um... <laughs> A pork chop and asparagus. Like, why? Jack, I think Felix. You know, Felix is a good name. We're going to name him Felix. Uh, first things first. This cat deserves a makeover. So let's just go into um, modified. Then we can take that hoodie off and actually see how cute he is. Uh, then we need to get a bunch of cat supplies. I'm currently looking at my own cat who was passed out in her little cat tree. It's so cute. Um, I need to know what this cat looks like. I don't like this hoodie at all. Take it off. There we go. Um, maybe just a collar would be fine. A little bell on it. The black one's good. Oh, he's very pretty, actually. I like him. So he is uh, Prowler, Fluffy, and Spoiled. All right, that actually, that works. <laughs> I mean, which cat isn't those things? So that should be fine. Um, then we need to get like a pet bowl, all of that. But mostly I want Michelle to like bond with a cat because I feel like that would be right up her alley. Uh, I do see her having a collection of cats <laughs> in the future. But we'll see how this goes. Okay, so that is Felix. Let's um, praise him, hug him, um, give him a treat. Let lick face. It's funny. Okay, wake up. <laughs> he just got here, but now he wants to sleep. Pick up. Um, can we hug him? Brush him, maybe? <laughs> there we go. That's actually really cute. He looks terrified. He's like, please let go of me. I have no idea who you are. Um, I was hoping that would be a better photo. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. I mean, she doesn't really have her nose pierced, but that's okay. That's just part of her, like, the summer outfit that she wears. Um, and then we can... That should be good. She pretty much has to go to school anyway, so... There, she cuddled with her cat all morning. She should be really happy about that. He is her friend for sure. So they're building a relationship. That is always good. Um, also, I did not. I said I was going to have Rebecca a makeover, but I haven't done it yet. Um, I just haven't got around to it. I've been so busy and I want to like take the time to actually give her the best makeover I can do. And I have not had the time to do that. But I did um, put some more stuff in Michelle's room, made it look like more of a kid's bedroom. Um, or sorry, Stephanie. I get them confused so much. Uh, and then where is Kimmy? She is asleep, so that's fine. Um, also, I could probably get rid of the bassinet in their bedroom. They're not going to have any more kids. I think that three is plenty. I don't really want any more. Um, 
Do we have any like cleaning that we need to do? Everything looks pretty good. Um, I did move the keyboard into this little, um, I don't know, what do we want to call this? Um, a conservatory? I don't know, this little sunroom. Um, so what can we do? Hire staff, jazz up the place? Sure. She hasn't played in a while, so we can do that. But yeah, I think that's actually a good place for it. it you, this used to be like a little seating area, so I had um, a bunch of like couches and chairs and a coffee table, but I think this is better. Um, Cause yeah, she can just kind of let her creative juices flow. This is a good place for it. Kimmy is like, what are you doing? Um, Kimmy also ages up in two more days, so that's good. We'll officially be done with toddlers. She's just playing away. Oh, I need to get stuff for the cat. I always, I always forget that. Um, let's go to pets. I think he would be fairly spoiled. Um, so we do have like the, the bowl, so that's good. We need, um, one of these. Where am I going to put it? We don't have a ton of space in this house for this kind of thing. I always put these on the back deck. That's not really a realistic place for them, but I don't know where else it can go. Um, I think that we could put the cat tree probably in her room. So I'm going to get rid of this stuff in the corner so I can put, um, yeah, I'll put that there, move this over. I really want the fancy one. That's way too big. Uh, this is probably the same size. Yeah, there, this one, okay, that one might fit. Uh, let's get that and put it there. I mean, it's clipping a little bit, but that should be fine. Um, then we'll get another like little scratching post and put that, oh man, this house is cluttered. I didn't even realize, put that there. And a bed for him. He's getting, he's getting pretty spoiled. I think we'll have a bed, like a bed and a cat tree in her room makes sense. And I think that should be it. Um, we'll keep like the little wand and like a, a toy. That should be good. All right. So that should be enough for, uh, what's his name? Felix. <laughs> oh no. He's a counter walker. Those are the worst. He's pretty handsome though. Like <laughs> he's a pretty cute cat. Um, even if he is on the counters and he's not supposed to be, um, I'll try to work on that. I, I really don't like when the cats are on the counter. It drives me nuts. And sometimes like most of the time you can actually train that behavior out, but sometimes it's, it's difficult. Um, let's purchase a lottery ticket. Uh, Michelle made another friend at school today. There we go. Now, um, for some reason we can't, oh, there we go. I was saying, I was gonna say we can't write a song, but it looks like we can now. Um, we did license another song in the last part too, so it'll be a while before we can do that again. Uh, what's up with Kimmy? I think she should go upstairs and use the potty. Milestone complete, okay, I didn't even know. I mean, I never work on their aspirations. It's not the aspirations challenge, so I don't ever worry about it. Why won't the garbage go in the garbage? That is the weirdest thing. Um, it'll go in that one. No, it won't. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, Michelle should be home pretty soon. Um, so what I thought we could do is maybe I got, I was saying in the last part that I wanted to do something, um, like realistic for the eighties, um, like an outing with her friends or even a date. But I think the best thing to do is probably just go with her friends. She met um, Gonzalo. She knows a guy named Riley, um, Jeremy, Robin. So let's try and do that. Um, I was saying that bowling and like maybe an arcade were kind of realistic. So let's go with Riley, Robin, Jeremy. I think that should be good. And yeah, I found this lot on the gallery. It is, I typed in hashtag arcade and I'm not sure if we can really have arcades. I mean, we could have something similar. I know when people do community lots, they get really creative. So I was thinking we could have something similar to an arcade. Um, I put it in Magnolia Promenade. Um, so we'll go there. Funky Town Bowling Arcade. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted. It looks like a really extra building. It's very pink and bright, um, but we're gonna check it out and see what we can do there. 
Um, I just thought it'd be fun for Michelle to do something, some kind of outing. Like I said, we're at kind of a point where I'm not sure where the story is going to go. So this might be kind of a fun outing for them while I figure that out. Um, so this is the, oh my good God. <laughs> it is so busy. Um, okay, so there's parking. There's these, like, I don't even know what those are. Oh, they, oh these are kind of cool. They've got like, these are almost billboards. Okay. Uh, and so you come inside and there is, oh, this little like checkout area. There's some seating. There's a bar. There's a dance area, karaoke, these games. Oh, I didn't, I did not know we had arcade games. What? We have arcade games? Where did the, okay, what pack do those come with? I need to know. Button Masher 2000 came with Get Together? Oh my God, I suck. <laughs> I had no idea that those even existed. That is crazy. What is this? Oh, it's like an office. And then this is where you can like, oh, that's so cool. These look like prizes that you could win. I mean, I doubt they are, but that's, I doubt that was the intention, but that's what it looks like. Uh, washrooms and the actual bowling alley. I really like this. So let's enable moonlight bowling. Oh, ow, my eyeballs. No, <laughs> no, I changed my mind. Um, we're gonna bowl a five frame game with Riley, Robin, and Jeremy. This seems like a really cool building. What I like is that it's not a huge building. Sometimes my game has problems with that. Um, it's very detailed, but it's not a, a big building. Okay, are we gonna play? Who the hell are you? Heather Murphy. We did not invite her, but she's definitely just showed up. Oh my, she, <laughs> she is here to have a good time. Um, definitely want a picture of that. And I don't know if bowling actually increases your relationship with the people that you're bowling with. I mean, I wish it did. Okay, everyone's just standing around. Who's this guy? Christopher Murphy, okay. It looks like, I was gonna say it looks like that it does build a relationship, but she already had a bit of a relationship with Jeremy. She met him in the last episode and they like went cloud gazing together, so. I kind of doubt that this is doing anything. Enthuse about cats. Show off selfie. I mean, that wouldn't have been a thing, but... I think these two... I don't know, they might make a nice couple. We could try and see what happens. Yeah, their relationship is definitely going up, so that's good. That was definitely the goal. I honestly don't even know if we're playing anymore. <laughs> I have no idea. It's probably her turn and she's just chatting away. Oh, wow. Okay, that is really hard on the eyeballs. Okay, we're clearly not even bowling anymore, so let's just cancel the game. Um... I mean, we could try flirting. I'm a little nervous about that. I don't think they have a good enough relationship for it to work. And his sister is standing there in her stupid cat sweater, just watching, or dog sweater. I hate that sweater, it's so ugly. Um, I don't know about this. Express admiration. Reveal crush, oh boy. That's really forward. We're gonna try though. Okay, he's not into it. Um, Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, okay. Well, there were the hearts. And now this Robin character is being rude. Okay, well, maybe we'll just pretend that that never happened. <laughs> we'll monkey around, uh, gossip, show off outfit. She's gonna. Oh, oh. Okay, that. The monkey around thing is so awkward. I just want them to have a decent relationship, but I don't know if that's going to happen. You know what? We could also, you know what? Let's forget about him for now. Who else is around? There's a ghost. Um, there's the, the, um, the pet adoption guy that I was thirsty for either, or for thirsty for earlier. Who's this? Christopher Winter. That's her uncle. This place is weird. Let's go, um, play an arcade game with, who is around? 
Honestly, nobody. Like, even Jeremy isn't here anymore. I find that so weird. Like, we went on an outing and everyone left. I'm gonna invite him back. Maybe they could play arcade games together? I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely forcing a relationship where it's not really working. Let's see if he's back yet. No, he's not here yet, but he probably will be soon. Is he here now? Yes, he's here. Okay. Yeah, I'm forcing a relationship for sure. That's my thing. <laughs> I can admit it. Um, this is going to be really loud. I think I'll turn down the volume because I do want to get in to take some screenshots of these two. He looks really sad. Like He, he does not want to be here. <laughs> Just watching them, trying to get the best screenshot that I can, but... Oh. There we go. That's a good one. Does that build a relationship? Not really. Um, let's try playing this one. Oh my god, it's 11 o'clock at night. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, I would say Michelle definitely has a crush on Jeremy. There's just not much she can do about it. Oh, vampire family is bowling. That's nice. Good for them. Alright, let's go home, I think. Who the hell is that? Oh, that's Sebastian Stan. He is so funny. And he never ages. That is her um, step-grandpa, technically. Alright, so we are going to head home. I'm sure that once we get there, um, the whole household is just going to be a total disaster. That's <laughs> that's how it always is. Um, once you go to a community lot, you come home and everyone's pretty much dying. So there'll probably be some work there to do. Um, yeah, but I, I would definitely say Michelle has a crush on Jeremy. Um, and she's not sure how to go about that, as you can tell. Um, let's grab some left. Oh, oh, why can't we grab food? Oh, she's not home yet. Okay, um, bring Michelle here. Grab some food. Um, so Kimmy, I'm going to get her to go use the potty. Rebecca, um, just trying to check on how everyone is doing. You know, for 12 o'clock, not so bad. Brian just aged up. I totally forgot about his birthday. Okay, Brian, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I definitely forgot about his birthday. I am so bad at that. Like, I'll get the notification, and I'm like, oh, yeah, plenty of time. And then I I completely forget. So I'm just going to put everyone to bed. It's 1230, so they need to sleep anyway. Um, Michelle, she can eat, go to the wash, and go to bed. I kind of feel bad for Michelle because she clearly has a crush on someone that's not interested in her in that way. Um, so maybe we need to try with somebody else, or maybe she can keep trying with, uh, with Jeremy. I don't see that going well. Okay, you're wasting my life. It's 2 a.m. Uh, lottery day was awful. Oh, I meant to get Rebecca and Brian to buy a lottery ticket, and I only got her to buy one, so our chances aren't as high. But honestly, at this point, I don't expect to win anymore. Um, I, I don't think it'll ever happen. I'm really not uh not getting my hopes up when it comes to the lottery tickets uh, okay so i'll just leave them sleeping for as long as they okay i guess they're done <laughs> oh my god I, and you know what i put my sims to bed at like 12 30 and they still want to wake up early go take a shower and then kimmy actually gets to age up tomorrow so that is exciting um i will keep michelle in bed for a bit longer um so yeah, I mean, if you guys have any suggestions for Michelle, let me know, because I'm not sure where to take her story. I don't really have any plans for her. I mean, her only trait so far is cat lover and squeamish, so it's not very telling of what her future could be like. I really don't know. Uh, I'm going to put these cat toys in her inventory. I mean, I do plan on her having a collection of cats, that's for sure. Um... And I mean, she liked her trip to Mount Komorebi, so maybe we could move there, or... Maybe she could vacation there often. I don't know. Like, what should her story be? There At this point, I have no clue what that's going to be like. Uh, but Stephanie and Michelle are off to school. I'll get them both to make friends. Kimmy is probably hungry. Oh, Brian's making some food. Okay, uh, there might be food in the fridge for Kimmy. 
or not. There is no fr there's no food in the fridge for Kimmy. Um I think that there is just Oh, there is. Okay, never mind. I was clicking on the wrong sim. Uh, what are you doing? She's going to cook too. Oh my god. Oh, that scared me. I thought she was engulfed in flames, but she's just attempting to barbecue potatoes. Oh my god. That is a loud storm. I'm going to put those in the fridge. I don't know why she made those. I really don't. Brian was attempting to make something. Um, I don't know what this bowl is. I have no clue. I just sent him to work, um, so that's really all I'm worried about. And then Kimmy, um, I think I'll get her to go back upstairs, use the potty, play with her toys. I've got the volume turned way down because the storm is going to be pretty loud. I don't have my uh, power outage mod right now, but I'll probably uh, put that back in pretty soon. I was having issues with mods and so I cleaned out all of them except for MC Command Center. So I may start to slowly add them back to my game. Uh, let's go maybe practice on the piano for a little bit. Kimmy is playing with her toys. Um, so I'm excited for her to age up. I, I mean, I, I don't mind having a toddler, but I'm always excited when we're out of the toddler phase and onto the independent phase. It's so much more fun for me. He's just playing away. Uh, what else can we do? Um, I mean, oh, this looks broken. We'll just replace it. It's it's fairly inexpensive. Um, this got hit by lightning, so we need to replace that. Uh, we have some mail. Riley is still sick, but not in the way that I feel like he needs urgent care. I think he's gonna be all right. What do we have in the mail? Oh, we have like seed packs. Um, the tombstone of her nanny, Osvaldo, is still in her inventory. That is actually really funny. I honestly miss the 70s so much. This Sometimes I feel like this, um, like the 80s, is not exciting enough. Like, I don't know, the family doesn't, like, it's nothing like the 70s. That was a roller coaster. Um, oh my god. Speaking of boring, like, <laughs> never a dull moment. Um, that was like, the most opportune time for a naked sim to come biking past our house. As I'm talking about how this household doesn't have as much excitement as the other ones. I mean, it's a, it's hard to follow the 70s with Donna. That was such a ride. Like, it was really fun, and there was so much drama, and it was really interesting. So with this one, it just feels so tame. Like, this little suburban family, um, I mean, not a lot goes on in this household. And I sometimes think, is this too boring? <laughs> do I need to have more drama and more of a story? But at the same time, I, I do like things to develop as naturally as possible. And so I'm kind of just waiting for something to happen. Uh, and with Michelle, I mean, teenagers are always a good time. So maybe it'll be interesting to see her chase after a guy that obviously isn't really interested. Um, might be a little bit awkward. Stephanie can go upstairs and shower too. They both need to shower. Uh, and Stephanie, when is she? Oh, she still has eight days. So what's interesting about this family is that the um, ages are quite staggered. Like they there's a lot of time between each kid. So that's interesting. We don't have to wait for, or we don't have to do birthdays immediately. We get to like wait a little bit. Um, oh, okay. Um, I totally just ruined that. Here, try that again. She was trying to put Kimmy in the pool and I wrecked it. <laughs> there we go. I think that is such a cute animation. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Like they're just playing. I mean, they know they do the same thing when they're in the ocean. Probably the same thing when they're in the tub, but I don't know. I just think it's so adorable. Where are you going? She wants to cry in her room? No, no, no. Um, let's go see if we can hang out with Felix. Um, hug, play with laser pointer, um, brush. I feel like just spending time with her cat would definitely make her feel better. And also when she moves out, I think we will probably have her bring Felix with her. It is her own um, cat. So that's probably what will happen. And I guess we will get Rebecca to come make some food. Done in the kiddie pool for now. We're going to serve some butternut gnocchi. That sounds good. 
Oh, you're already eating? Are those chips? Oh, cheese crackers. Of course. Of course she's already eating. That is so cute. I love the little cat one. My cat goes crazy for these. Um, to the point where she wrecks them. <laughs> so we've been through quite a few of them. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is leave this episode here. I know it's a little bit shorter, but I am on a bit of a time crunch right now because I'm pre-recording for the next, like, two weeks because... Um, there's a whole bunch of time off for my husband and I around Christmas time, so I won't get to record. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave this part here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.